All right, folks, it's time for the main event. Are we ready? It is election day in America. Election day. Election day. Election day edition. Election day's kicked off. Election day. Americans of all ages will be thinking long and hard about how to vote. Here at the ACLU, we have just one closing argument. Everyone should be able to vote and everyone's vote should be counted. So we want to prepare you to know your rights when you go to the polls. I feel that it is our most fundamental right to vote. And it's important that we use our ballot for good to see the change that we want to see. When men can vote together and decide how they shall live together, why, why then they are free. First off, many of us have never voted during a global pandemic. So first, check your polling location. Some of these may have changed because of COVID, so make sure that you double check yours. So you wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, double check your down ballot races, then maybe pack a light snack and head to the polls. Or a heavy snack. I'm not, I will, a heavy snack is fine, you guys. I don't wanna like monitor calories on election day. If you show up and there's a line, stay in line, don't leave. And if you're having trouble staying in line because you have a pre-existing condition, tell a poll worker, they can help. If polls close while you're still in line, don't leave. Election officials must allow you to vote as long as you arrived in line before closing. If it seems like that's not gonna happen or you have any other concerns, call 866-R-VOTE. 866-R-VOTE. Thank you for calling the Election Protection Hotline. For English, press one. Tell the Election Protection Hotline what you're seeing and know that help is just a phone call away. Voter intimidation is very rare, but know how to spot it. No one should make you feel unsafe or interfere with your casting a ballot. Remember, you have the right to vote. No one can impersonate an election official or aggressively question you. Right inside and right outside your polling location, it'll mostly just be you, your fellow voters, and poll workers. Good morning. The polls are now open. Hear ye, hear ye, the polls are now open. Okay, you've made it in. Get excited, you're so close. Poll workers will check your registration and in some states you can register and vote on election day. And check to see if your state has a voter ID law. This is where you would show it. If you don't speak English, if you need special assistance for disability, or if you aren't in the poll book, remember, you have the right to vote. If there are questions about your eligibility to vote or you don't have the right ID, request a provisional ballot. Election officials can determine your eligibility later. Finally, be prepared to follow all applicable laws. And that includes Murphy's Law. If there's a technical glitch with your machine, ask for a paper ballot. There are reports of equipment problems. I'm here actually to vote on paper today. Okay, what the issue is, this is your ballot. And what if it's the moment of truth? You're ready to go, pen to paper, and... Dang it! You just marked the wrong candidate's name. Ask for a new ballot. We all make mistakes. So you fill in your ballot and congrats! You're done. Wear your I Voted sticker proudly. This is the most important vote of my lifetime. I just voted and I'm feeling super ecstatic. I voted, she voted, we voted, woo! Now what? Well, go ahead and eat that snack you packed. You deserve it. At the ACLU, we work hard to make sure that every vote is counted. This is our democracy and we're gonna fight for it together. So we'll see you at the polls.